Stock taking involves physically counting your material and product stock and comparing to your calculated stock counts in CraftyBase. And doing this regularly, you'll be able to improve your accuracy and identify any issues with your production processes. Each time you cycle count your materials, you'll want to create a new stock take in CraftyBase to record your physical counts. To create a new stock take, we'll navigate to our stock takes pages via the top navigation menu. Next, we'll click the Add Stock Take button that appears in the top right-hand corner of the page. You'll notice on this form that our stock take date cannot be changed. The count needs to be performed on this date to ensure that the correct calculated stock numbers in CraftyBase are shown for comparison. The second field is for our stock take code. This is for reference only. We'll keep the automatically generated code here. However, we could have created our own if needed. Next is an area for us to write any notes about our stock take. Let's note that Kathy was the stock taker for this count. The next section, additional details, is for selecting the materials you wish to stock take. For this example, we're going to count all materials in our pigments category today. The next option is to select the sort order for the materials that are returned. As we have our pigments arranged by skew on the shelf, we'll use this as our sort order. The last stock take before box is to filter down a selection to only return materials that have not been counted since a certain date. This ensures that we can cover stock taking all of our materials in our random counts. For this count, we'll leave the date blank so we have a list generated from the complete pool of our pigments. Now that we've configured our stock take, we'll click the Generate Items to Stock Take button. You'll now see each of our generated stock take items will be shown. From here, we'll need to count our physical stock of this item and then enter it into the actual quantity box. To confirm the count, we'll then press the double tick icon. We now have an accuracy rating calculated for each material. There are four different ratings. Perfect for when your physical count is the same as our crafty base one. Very good, which is plus or minus 2% difference. Good, okay, and review, which is for anything over plus or minus 10% difference. These ratings are designed to show possible issues with your inventory tracking, so it's a good idea to spend some time reviewing any with OK or review ratings to see what can be improved. If a change to our stock levels has been recorded via the stock take, an inventory adjustment will be added automatically for the material to bring our physical and recorded stock levels in line. This adjustment can be viewed via the Adjustments tab on the material page. For reference, each stock take that the material has been counted in is also recorded under the Stock Takes tab for that material. We hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please get in touch, and thanks for watching.